some of the relegated offerings of Adamawa State, a landscape that may never be given the true description it deserves, creativity that may never be properly harnessed, and a rhythm that has been drowned by the sound of insurgency. This melody has brought with it the loss of lives, destruction of property, and people displaced from their homes. But from these tough times comes the need to remember when the coming together of men to wrestle was for sport. Bachawa Kingdom and the Butter Kingdom. When hands molded culture. And sounds of hooves was tradition. This was a dream for Adamawa stage when it was cut from Dongola in 1991. Its proximity to Northern Cameroon was, among other reasons, meant to bolster an exchange in culture and trade. But all that is being threatened by the Boko Haram sect. However, the state government is making efforts to ensure that the story of Adamawa is not lost to violence. It is throwing its weight behind a plan to promote the state in the United States of America. Perhaps this might just be the needed tonic. So I have come to Adamawa State to solicit the state support and to show you that your daughter has achieved something, you know, to bring it here and solicit your support so that I can go and showcase Adamawa State in the USA. Anything you want us to do for you, we'll do it. <laughs> uh, you to go to your projecting the Adama figure outside there. And I think anytime we go to Lagos or Abuja, we'll feel very proud of you to say that uh, our owner is now representing us somewhere. There is still a lot of work for the Adamawa state government to do with regards to revamping historical sites destroyed by insurgents and re-announcing itself as a cultural destination. And the authorities appear to be holding on to the popular saying, once there's a will, there's a way.